My name is Ron Hunter and I'm an Applications Engineer with CML Microcircuits. This video will demonstrate how to create constellation diagrams with CML's QAM modems, the CMX7163 and the CMX7164. The CMX7163 and CMX7164 share the same feature set. Both modems support 4, 16, and 64 QAM. The CMX7164 also supports 2FSK and 4FSK to provide backward compatibility with legacy systems. The information presented in this video is equally applicable to both the CMX7163 and the CMX7164, but to keep things simpler, we will only refer to the CMX7163. A constellation diagram is an intuitive way to view a signal that is displayed in quadrature format, also called I and Q format. A lot of information is available in a constellation diagram, and this information can help you troubleshoot a wireless link. In this 4QAM constellation diagram, we can see that the signal power determines the radial distance from the center of the diagram to a constellation point. A DC offset in the received signal will shift the constellation away from the origin. And a cloud will form if the received symbols aren't close to the correct location at the symbol timing instant. We will create constellation diagrams in this video and we need hardware to do that. Let's review the evaluation boards we will use in this video. The PE0002 is a USB connected PC interface card. This board acts as the host controller in this application. The PE0601-7163 is the evaluation board for the CMX7163 QAM modem. The EV9980 is the evaluation board for the CMX998 Cartesian Feedback Loop IC. Since QAM is a linear modulation scheme, the ability of the CMX998 to linearize an RF power amplifier makes it a great fit to test with our QAM modem. The last board we will test is the EV9920B. This is the evaluation platform for the CMX992 RF quadrature demodulator. To learn how to connect and operate these evaluation boards, please watch our QAM and RF with two PE002 hosts video. In today's video, we will make two small changes to that test setup. Instead of using a 1.2 volt supply for the EV9980 RFPA enable, we will connect EV9980 J12 pin 15 to the transmit PE0601-7163 J13 pin 2. This will allow the CMX7163 RAM DAC to automatically ramp up and down the EV9980 RF power amplifier. Next, we will connect EV9980 TL14 to the transmit PE0601-7163 J13 pin 5. This will allow the CMX7163 to automatically calibrate the DC offsets of the CMX998 IQ inputs. Now that we have connected the evaluation boards, let's go over a few helpful test equipment tips. The IQ signals for the constellation diagram are presented on the transmit outputs of the receiving CMX7163. An analog oscilloscope should be used to view the constellation diagrams because digital scopes can introduce distortion. Because the I and Q signals are at VDD over 2, the constellation diagram may be pushed to the side of the oscilloscope display. Inserting a 1.5 volt battery between the I and Q signals and the oscilloscope will allow the constellation diagrams to be centered in the oscilloscope display. Each constellation diagram script has been created to generate a 4 QAM image for approximately 30 seconds. The modulation type and the image duration are easily adjustable. The constellation diagram scripts were written to use 70 dB of external RF attenuation. You should adjust your RF attenuation 
So the receiving CMX7163 I or Q signal is no more than two volts peak to peak centered on VDD over two. Please contact CML if you need any assistance with this step. The constellation diagram will rotate if there is a frequency error between the transmit and the receiver. In order to view the constellation diagram, let's minimize that frequency error as much as possible. Launch two PE002 graphical user interfaces, one for transmit and the other for receive. Load the latest function image into each CMX7163. Use the Receive GUI to launch the Receive LO trimming script. Walk through the steps. When prompted, go to the Transmit PE002 GUI, launch the TXLO trimming script, and walk through those steps. Place an oscilloscope probe on EV9920B J4 pin 1. You will probably see a sine wave on this pin. The frequency of this sine wave is the frequency error between transmit and receive. When prompted, adjust your receive RF SIGGEN to achieve the lowest possible frequency signal. When the signal frequency is minimized, finish the LO trimming scripts. There are four different ways to view a constellation diagram with the CMX7163. In this video, we will refer to them as modes A, B, C, and D. Each of these modes provides a different amount of processing on the received signal. In mode A, the received signal is filtered by the receiving CMX7163 root raise cosine filters and presented on its transmit outputs. There is no symbol synchronization, no DC shifting, no frequency compensation, and no amplitude scaling in this image. This is the least processed of the four image types. The oscilloscope should be operated in XY mode and the input signals should be DC coupled to the scope. Ensure your analog oscilloscope is connected to the receiving 7163 transmit outputs and then launch the mode A receive script. When prompted, launch the transmit script. You should now see a four quam constellation diagram on your oscilloscope. The four constellation points are more like clouds than points because the modem has not synchronized on the symbol timing. The trajectories between points can overshoot due to the root raised cosine filtering. And the constellation rotates because there is still a frequency error between transmitter and receiver. When you are finished viewing the mode A image, close out the transmit and receive scripts. Modes B, C, and D each perform symbol synchronization, and this means that they have to receive an actual data signal that consists of preamble, frame sync, and data packets. The transmitting script takes care of all of this for you by transmitting four QAM raw pseudo-random data at 9600 baud. Next, we will view a mode B diagram. Mode B performs symbol synchronization and presents the IQ samples at the symbol timing instant. There is no DC shifting, no frequency compensation, and no amplitude scaling in this image. Launch the mode B receive script, and when prompted, launch the transmit script.
clouds of mode A have been replaced with four clearly defined constellation points because the receiving CMX7163 has performed symbol synchronization. When you are finished with mode B viewing, finish those scripts so we can move on to mode C. Mode C improves the last image by adding a marker to indicate the required DC offset correction. However, there is no frequency compensation or amplitude scaling in this image. Launch the Mode C Receive script and then launch the Transmit script. A marker that indicates the DC offset is clearly visible. This DC offset estimate is dynamically updated by the CMX7163. Close out the Mode C scripts when you are ready to move to Mode D. The final constellation diagram is for Mode D. This mode presents the normalized samples at the symbol timing instant. Mode D adds frequency compensation and amplitude scaling to achieve a very clear constellation diagram. The CMX7163 extracts data from the signal after it has received the processing in Mode D. Launch the Mode D Receive script and then launch the Transmit script. As you can see from this image, frequency rotation has stopped and the size of the diagram has changed. This image illustrates the extensive correction the CMX7163 applies to the received signal in order to extract the data. As you can see from this before and after comparison, the CMX7163 performs an amazing amount of processing on the signal to ensure that your data gets through. So, in just a few minutes, we have reviewed the four different types of constellation diagrams that are provided by the CMX7163. This concludes our video. Please visit the CML website to download the script files that were used in today's video. And please contact CML if you have any questions about the products that you have watched today.